and welcome to this special episode of Indopes. Education plays a key role, an integrated role in the building of a nation as well as the destiny of its citizen. If a student is fortunate enough to take his education in an institution which can be valued in a higher place or is being led by some visionary and academic administrator, this institute can play a vital role in his or her life and career. And such an institute is IMS Kazewar. And today we are meeting with an inspirational leader, Dr. Urvashi Malkar, who is heading this organization. And with her, extremely powerful and innovative leadership and new innovations in the curriculum, she has been doing a wonderful task at the institute. Let us understand what she has been doing and what miracles she has been performing at this institute with her leadership. So welcome Dr. Makkar. Uh, my first question to you ma'am, you have been such an inspiration to many leaders, not only your students but academic leaders across education institutions. Who has been your uh, strong influence on your personality? Uh, recently, you have been uh, on uh, very highlights by India Today as well, a lot of media houses. <coughs> so, what is the biggest influence on your personality and why? Thank you very much, uh, Chandrasekhar ji. It is an uh, honor, of course, answering this question because uh, what an individual is basically is cumulative of uh, the influences of hundreds of people who might have come across in his or her life. So, it uh, might not be possible to name one person who might have influenced me to the highest uh, uh, extent, but yes, definitely I am really proud to share that I belong to a family of the academicians and uh, my parents, father and mother both have been into the academic fraternity throughout their lifetime and they had uh, so much of the strong influence uh, in terms of the values which they instilled in me and the other siblings of me during our childhood and the basic core value was giving back to the society which was instilled to all of us during the childhood and uh, that value is uh, something which I cherish till date and obviously that has impacted uh, me in the professional life as a teacher, as a professor and then eventually as the director of the institutions mm -hmm. and giving back to the societies I believe is the core value which has changed and transformed our life to the totality. Secondly, I have seen that uh, my parents highly enterprising, they themselves have been highly risk takers and morally rich people. They always trained us to jumping into the well on the word go. So take the risks, take certain enterprising decisions of your life and that uh, challenging to the status quo I have learned from my parents. And that definitely I think is reflected somewhere in my professional life also. Now besides my parents I am really uh, so much blessed and privileged that today we are working at IMS Ghaziabad and currently our governing body is being led by one leader Sri Naresh Agrawalji as the chairman of governing body. I have learned so much from him because again these two core values which I have learned from my parents I always have seen the reinforcement of both those values in the culture of IMS Ghaziabad that giving back to the society and taking the challenges and the risks. So I am so much uh, blessed to awesome. talk about these people to you. That's brilliant. Giving back to the society as well as being a risk taker. You know, this is a you know uh, extreme qualities which a person, if he is having these qualities in his life or in his uh, you know character, he can go places. So, ma'am, uh, what exactly? Uh, you have been doing, you know, it's wonderful to see the pedagogy, the new innovations in the pedagogy, uh, pedagogy in the IMS, the students' curriculum has changed rapidly, it's amazingly innovation and uh, recently you have done a Swiss immersion program as well for the students and I believe this is the first time in the history of private institution across the Netherlands here, not, even North India, I believe, or most probably, probably in India. 
So what is this program all about and how, how this idea came to you, to your mind to do it for your students? So well, I, I really appreciate this question and I would like to definitely answer this uh, very well that IMS Ghaziabad has been uh, distinctively characterized by its tripartite strategy in which the very first focus always has been on the academic quality and excellence. Second, strong focus has been onto the skill enhancement and corporate readiness of the students. And third, definitely very important component is the global interface and internationalization of the education. These three core values of IMS Ghaziabad are so strongly integrated with each other that give us uh, the confidence to plunge into this Swiss immersion program for our students for which uh, IMS Ghaziabad has tied up with the University of Lucerne, Switzerland Great. and it, as part of this MOU, our students of the institution, they will be getting a 20 hour certification program on ethical decision making yes. and uh, that is such a strong pertinent and contemporary requirement yeah. today to That's become a successful professional and under the same MOU, 30 students have been offered the opportunity to visit University of Lucerne in the Humanistic Network Centre Geneva and do this program there itself. And under this Swiss Immersion program, our students are going to get the opportunity to visit the headquarters of United Nations in Geneva also. And of course, uh, this exposure is going to give them not only understanding of multiple cultures, but it's going to give them so much of the confidence to face the professional life tomorrow. So that definitely is one of its kind of MOU which IMS has signed and our students are definitely looking forward to this. That's, that's really amazing because generally academic institutions uh, across India we see they focus upon the placement, the selling package. Nobody seems to bother about the value installation in their characters of the students. But this is what I feel, I have been observing IMS for many years now and knowing uh, Dr. Urvashi personally for many years and her leadership qualities and the way she is emphasizing upon installation of these characteristic values. Strong characters build a strong man and a strong nation. That has been core mantra I believe she has been trying to do with the new innovations in the academic careers or curriculum for the students. And I wish IIMS, IIMS students are going to enjoy not only through their you know careers but across the 360 degree of their lives with these values with them. So ma'am, the next question to you is that how you are using your vast experience of so much years and uh, to the academic excellence at Dazibar, you know, uh, IMS is doing so much wonderful places. It is going, you are breaking records of placements. Your students are getting internship in high top notch institutions, MNCs. How do you have been able to do that and what are the steps you are taking to take your experience into really doing something worthwhile in the lives of students? So well, I, I think as I said very rightly in the beginning and you have uh, reinforced this aspect that academic quality and excellence is one core value of IMS Ghaziabad. Besides that today, if we are offering PGDM program, the basic premise and purpose of the program is to give the employability to the students. Right. They have to go to the market, face the companies and get the professional life started. When this is the purpose of PGDM program, undoubtedly our focus at IMS Ghaziabad is on the skill enhancement of the students. Skill enhancement. We always used to tell to our students that uh, the placement cannot be the goal and purpose of PGDM program. Yeah. Instead of that, it has to be the skills. Because if the skills will be there, the placement is going to be a byproduct. It will not be the purpose of PGDM yes. program. Yeah. And those skills which they are going to learn, they will be their strongest asset for the yeah. lifetime. That's right. So the focus of IMS Ghaziabad in entirety is on the skills of the students and that's how we have designed our whole curriculum in such a way that first of all we are keeping on upgrading our curriculum every year yes. with the no. collaboration with the recruit recruiters, our academic council members and uh, I'm pleased to share that we have 37 very senior corporate experts and academic leaders 
from 11 countries who are part of our academy council yes. and every year annual academy council meeting gives us so much of the inputs for changes going on in the curriculum only this year we have added around 40 new modules in our curriculum in which the value added certification programs have been added which are offered to the students as part of the curriculum the value added certifications are like microsoft excel advanced certification for which we have tied up with Microsoft directly. Then we are offering Google Analytics certification which is given in collaboration with the Ministry of Small and Medium Enterprises. Right. Similarly for four more certifications we have tied up with MSME and certifications are digital and social media marketing, right. then marketing analytics, financial modeling and yellow belt six sigma certification. So these certifications are giving so much of the value to the students in terms of their profile enhancement, knowledge enhancement that they are becoming corporate ready and their employability score is enhancing. So the focus is not only to give the classroom teaching to the students but to train them what exactly is expected by the corporate sector. So for yes. that we are having a lot of interfaces for the corporate also like live projects then the industrial visits, so many of uh, the summer internship projects are given to the students and we are really pleased that our students are getting a lot of pre placement offers during their summer internships itself. So in totality the whole idea is to train, to develop the students, to prepare them for the market for which they have taken admission at RMS Gaziabad in PGBM program. That's no doubt uh, the employability enhancement is the key and IMS uh, has been doing wonderful thing at that because it's a big challenge for many institutions. We have seen in last decade many private institutions and universities getting shut down because they could not provide campus placement to their students. While uh, you know on the other hand IMS is you know breaking records with campus placement. <coughs> so this is a message clearly you know visible to the academic administrators as well as the owners or the people who are behind these institutions who were shut down, they should learn something, they should do really something uh, to make the students employable not only just getting the admissions. So my, my next question to you is that, how do you see what kind of uh, you know uh, reason you have for strengthening your stronghold of IMS? Because as of now it holds in the top uh, 10 ranks, you know, in one of the top 10 uh, you know, managed, private management institutions across India and a good ranking it holds. And what is your vision for giving it more strength to this stronghold? <coughs> well, uh, currently the whole country is trying to implement new education policy 2021. Yeah. And IMS is also putting up all its efforts to justify various core values of NEP 2021. Now, as per this uh, policy, new education policy, there are three very important components which are needed to be emphasized in PGDM program or in any higher education institution. First definitely is internationalization of the education which we are putting a lot of efforts. Yes, that's so just program. program is one example but besides that we are organizing various global talk series. Okay, like currently in our campus the 30 hours module of MCIT that is management of change innovation and technology is already being conducted by one of the global expert Mr. Ashish Patel who is uh, managing director at Morgan Franklin from Washington. So he is here in India for two weeks to take up that session for our students. There are so many other avenues which are offering uh, to the students for the internationalization aspect. Second very important component is the value based education and that's the reason in the Swiss immersion program our certification program is on ethical decision making. That's Similarly, we are giving a lot of value generated outcomes to the students by offering uh, curriculum oriented modules to them. And third focus of the whole new education policy is on the skills. skills. And uh, I am sure the overall buffet which we are offering to the students is such value added in terms that the skill has to be the final outcome. So, uh, I just talked about value added yes. certification programs. Besides that, we are giving 11 short term training programs also to the students, which is part of the curriculum. And these trainings are like in the softwares, SPSS, so that the research orientation is generated 
among us the students then CMI, Provis, then Tabby, Tabview these all uh, softwares are being These are addition trained. to the yes. normal curriculum they are studying. Very well, very well. Right. Now we have integrated them as part of the curriculum so mm -hmm. that students are teaching them within the campus and they are being given certain credits also. Besides that we have one very specially customized program prepped for our student that is placement readiness enhancement program okay. in which every trimester 12 hours module is offered to the students mm -hmm. on the preparation for the placement readiness. That's good. Like the group discussions are conducted, mm -hmm. the mock interview mock sessions are conducted for the students. They are trained how to face the interview process also. Get confidence and, and then uh, there are certain modules like the self-awareness module is mm -hmm. there, the module on emotional intelligence is there. So we have the buffet of these activities going on in the campus. So obviously besides the classroom teaching, a lot of emphasis is on the experiential learning. Overall personality enhancement yes, I believe. Yes, very well. So that they can be really stand apart from the crowd. True. The problem solving learning is one very very important learning which we are trying to give to the students. And they are taking the hands on experience by being part of various life projects mm -hmm. which they are taking from the corporate sector. Mm -hmm. And these avenues definitely are uh, creating a lot of skills mm -hmm. among us, the students. And that is the reason that today placement is not a challenge for the institution but that has become such a great opportunity. That's right. And today the companies like Deloitte, Asian Paints, Berger, Dabur, Amul, Colgate, you name it and the companies are coming to so the campus. Names are coming. That's right. no doubt. So ma'am, uh, this is all we uh, you know, came to know about what exactly the students are getting at IMS. So at the end, I would like to ask you, what, are, what is your crystal clear message to the youngsters? Uh, you know, to make their lives brighter and better as an experienced academic, academic administrator as well as a teacher and the person who is trying to really shape the lives of uh, you know, students. In fact, it's a very interesting question and I always uh, love to answer this question because uh, uh, first of all, uh, I can't advise to the youngsters. They themselves are so well-known people. Today, the generation smart of millennials, that's a very, very smart very generation. Smart. But yes, if out of my own experiences, I have to tell them, I will tell them only two things. Okay. That uh, this student life is very precious and they should never lose the sense of purpose. So the focus on sense of purpose is very very important that why they are studying a particular program. The purpose should be clear, the goal should be very clearly identified so that they can put efforts accordingly. Second, I always tell to my students that always believe in the big dreams. If they will see the big dreams, only then they will try to aspire to reach yeah. to the bigger aspirations and goals. Yeah. And never underestimate their potential because these youngsters are very very smart people. They have so much of the untapped potential. They are the future of our country. So have trust on the capability of themselves and uh, expand further untapped it. But yes, there is no substitution of hard work. They really have to put very, very big time hard work to achieve their goals. That's good. So this is really an interesting, uh, you know, to know all these things, these insights uh, for not only for students, but the academic uh, administrators as well as uh, college institution owners and management. That is the message Dr. Urbashi Bhakar is making to the youngsters because she has done it. She has lived it in her own life and she has been doing it for her student at IMS Kaliwa. So here it was, Dr. Obashi Makar, thank you very much ma'am. You uh, gave us time for this uh, wonderful session and uh, we could elaborate, we could know what exactly is happening in the IMS as well as the higher education excellence. The excellence in the higher education is getting really a new face. Lot of new things are coming up and I believe this institute can be a role model for many such institutions across India. Thank you very much. Thank you.